From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. India is home to some 70,000 Asian elephants living in the heart of the forests here. But a booming population, now at a staggering 1.3 billion people, is putting these gentle giants at risk. They are a gift of nature and we have to save them. We don't want to kill any animal, person or elephant. Rupchand Taneja drives trains along a railway line running through Rajaji National Park, where hundreds of elephants live. Some 30 trains pass here daily, transporting thousands of people, and sometimes cargo, across the country. In 2006, Rupchand spotted a herd crossing the track and almost hit them. There were six elephants and one baby calf on the track. So I pulled the emergency brake. I was going 35 kilometers an hour. We turned on the headlights and honked the horn and made noise. The herd moved to safe ground. But these tracks have claimed the lives of some 20 other elephants over the span of one decade, as they wander from the forest searching for food. They don't have water in the forest, so they come out here looking for water. People from the train throw food on the trucks. They smell the food and come here to eat it. Nighttime is when most of the accidents occur in this area. And to protect elephants lingering near train lines, forest officials posted patrol guards to police the tracks. When they spot elephants coming, they alert train drivers to avoid killing the animals. This system is a temporary measure that works well. But to further protect elephants wandering near the train lines, a more long-term solution is needed. Tom de Melanier is coordinator at CITES, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, which monitors the killing of elephants worldwide. If we can build corridors, that is a, one of the ways to avoid such a human-elephant conflict. More than a dozen states have already created biological corridors. The goal is to build more of these pathways to link ecosystems and wildlife habitats now fragmented by human development. It's an important step towards achieving coexistence between humans and wildlife. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.